Thanks to our strong naval and air defenses around Java, we were successful in repelling the Japanese invasion force that was bearing down on the island. Enemy airstrikes continued throughout the day, however. Rooster Buffaloes and CW-21 fighters met the Japanese in the air whenever possible. The enemy losses for the day were very steep. In return, we only lost one CW-21. The never-ending task of resupplying and building up our forces on Java continues. The good news is that HMS Warspite is rumored to be entering the theater within the week. This will boost our offensive capabilities significantly and will give us a fighting chance to retake Singapore. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of War on the Sea with the Abdicom mod. We have a Japanese task force bearing down on Sarabaya now. We have some DO-24s here closing in, and it looks like we do have a cruiser in the group. A couple of cruisers here, actually. I'm guessing this is an invasion force. I do have lots of aircraft taking off to try to hit these guys. However, our DO-24Ks are the first one on the scene. I'm going to have them form up in a line ahead formation, and we are going to try to bomb at least one of these cruisers. We'll probably go for the Tenryu here. I'm going to do manual bombing line ahead formation, please. Actually form up in a Vic, please. Let's see if they form up appropriately. Perfect. Increase your airspeed and reduce altitude down to 500 meters. We're going in. Unfortunately, we don't have much in the way of defenses near Sarabaya at the moment. We're going to really have to rely on air power for this. O-19 is in the area, and we do have a little torpedo boat here, which may be able to do some damage if it can get close enough. I am not counting on it, though. Okay, swing around, close in. We'll go for, yeah, we'll go for the light cruiser in the lead there. We just have to inflict enough damage to force them to turn around. We do have a friendly convoy in the area, so maybe they can drop off their supply so O-19 can rearm. Okay, dive down even more. Each plane here is carrying four bombs, four high explosive bombs, 500 pounds, I do believe. And here we go. Let's line up. This is far from perfect, but I'd like to protect my aircraft. Okay, drop bombs. Bombs away. Increase altitude. Get the heck out of here. Come on, please give me something. Those missed. They all missed. Okay. Dropped a tad too late. That's unfortunate. One aircraft was destroyed, and it looks like the rest aren't going to get through. Man, this is quite the task force I am going up against. We'll have to hope O-19 can get in a good place to intercept. We'll start hitting these as well. We do have lots of aircraft in the air heading this way. Well, folks, we have some good news. It seems that one little attack forced this task force to turn around and abandon their attack plans on Sarabaya. We have redirected our aircraft to head up there and see if we can get one of the light cruisers. Additionally, our convoys are running back and forth. Convoy AS-1 is almost here at Sarabaya. They are carrying supply and fuel. I'm going to unload some supply and some fuel down here at Dempasar so we can rearm our PBY Catalinas. Additionally, down by Australia, we are really just waiting for the start of the new week because as you can see, we are out of troops and out of supply. So we cannot rearm Task Force Python just yet. They are waiting to get rearmed. We did release Deroiter. Yeah. So she'll be in port for 15 days here. Also, Sumatra is now in port. She's in port for 25 days. Looks like we are getting uh, Paul Jones and Scout back in a couple of days, though, which is nice. Anyway, we are just waiting for more supply and more troops before we send out this convoy as well. A flight of buffaloes have encountered a Japanese task force consisting of 10 ships heading through the Java Sea. We're going to track them and launch some torpedo planes up there. 
Additionally, what else can we launch from Sarabaya CW21s? Okay, send them up here as well. If there's destroyers, we can at least strafe them. Sarabaya Hudsons. All right, 500 pound high explosive bombs. Task Force Basilisk, you're going to hang out there for the time being. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of destroyers here. All right, M139s with two 1,000 pound high explosive bombs. All right, we're going to have our buffaloes track. The first strike is organized and above the Japanese task force. We only have four ships here? No, there are a lot of ships here. Most of them destroyers. It looks like, do I have any heavies? Negative, they are all destroyers. Okay, well in that case, we are still going to hit them pretty hard and drop down to 60 meters, please. Turn towards them. Hudson, drop down turn towards them we have more m139s closing in we're going to have them drop down to the deck as well additionally our cw21s need to come around and do some strafing runs on some of these older destroyers hopefully we can inflict some damage we are taking triple a yeah there's some flak i already lost them it's quite a hazy evening here I have a feeling now either this task force is heading to resupply Japanese holdings on like Borneo and such or Celebes or they are moving to Sarabaya to attempt to launch an evasion once again. So all of these on the starboard side are modern destroyers. Okay, you know what? Just go strafe number one. We'll have our Hudson's turn in. I would like to take out the more modern destroyers because they do pose a larger threat to our surface assets. However, I'll take what I can get. I want to spread as much damage around as possible. CW-21s are closing in for their first strafe. Japanese anti-aircraft is opening fire. Let's see how they do. Oh, come on. Start some fires. There we go. Secondary explosion. We lost the CW-21. Splashed right next to the target. What a shame we lost one already. The second flight of CW-21s is closing in. The destroyer is on fire, though, so take that small victory. Look at just the sheer amount of anti-aircraft fire we're dealing with here. Okay, strafing. We lost the second one, my goodness. Okay, increase speed. Form up. Turn south. Get out of here. Okay, Hudson time. We're going to make these strikes nice and quick. Increase airspeed. We have... Okay, this formation, this one Hudson will go for this target. The rest will go for number one. We do have M139s closing in as well. All right, Hudsons, form up in a diamond formation, please. You are going to hit the one target that is smoking. All right, here's the moment of truth. The Japanese formation is scrambling. We may actually go for this other one here. No, 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 let's stick to the lead one. In a diamond formation, looking good. Make sure we are lined up nicely. She is zigzagging about. Bombs away. Bombs away, bombs away. Come on. Okay, near misses all around, unfortunately. Turn right, get the heck out of here. We have one Hudson here. It'll go for this target. Drop down to 20 meters, please. Increase your speed. M139s are still closing in. That's unfortunate. All those bombs missed. That was definitely going to be a hard shot. Okay, bombs away. Turn right. Get the heck out of here. There we go. Two direct hits on that destroyer. Increase airspeed. Get out of here. These Hudsons are spiraling up. They need to... Uh, that one that got the two bomb hits was shot down. All right, these Hudsons need to turn south and increase altitude. Get out of here. That destroyer does not look good, though. Slowly whittling them away. Our M139s, let's hit the two leads that are damaged. Okay, the one destroyer that is ablaze is separated from the rest of the group, so that's the one we are going to go for. Since these guys are kind of far away, I'm just trying to reduce damage to my aircraft at this point. All the other destroyers are kind of... Ooh. If they hit each other, that's what we're going to bomb. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, we're actually going to go for these two. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so glorious. Okay, okay. Increase speed. Form up in a diamond formation. Oh gosh, that's a lot of AAA that we gotta go through here to get to target seven and eight. I believe it's these two. Indeed it is. Okay, here we go. Running the gauntlet just so we can hit we can bomb a ship that rammed another. Oh my gosh, is this one going to ram it? Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. It's so silly, but I kind of love it. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, they just rammed each other. Let's get it. All right, get ready to drop bombs. Oh shoot, we lost one. Bombs away. And they all missed, unfortunately. Okay, well, you know what? You can't win them all, I suppose. Get out of here. That would have been so good. These M130. We're just going to have them get out of here. Oh, gosh. That's so much AAA. Wow. Well, at least the Japanese inflicted some more damage upon themselves. A little catastrophe they're having out here. My goodness. This one does not look good. Well, we are going to retreat from the battle. We'll see what this task force does. Just engaging this many destroyers with air power is... Kind of a death sentence due to how much anti-aircraft they can put up but anyway uh yeah we lost about half of our aircraft that is not good less than ideal here we go we lost seven aircraft one has heavy damage heavy flooding number seven has heavy damage heavy flooding some others have some minor damage here as well not really worth uh that many aircraft but you know what Maybe it will deter them. Additionally, if they are damaged like that, it'll make it easier for our forces to engage on the surface. We have more Japanese warships closing in on Batavia. Hurricanes are airborne. We are going to form them up, and you know the drill. They are carrying bombs. Drop down to altitude, increase speed, form up in a diamond formation. We are going to have all of these hurricanes hit number seven which appears to be a japanese light cruiser we do have some ships standing in the way of batavia but hopefully getting them with some aircraft will encourage the japanese to turn around once again like they have been doing okay we are formed up close in on this light cruiser additionally we have received our weekly command points so I'm sure we will get something quite exciting with those. We have a total of 77 command points available. And the good thing is we'll finally be able to go on the offensive, I think, with this influx of command points. Okay, drop down to 20 meters. Let's have these hurricanes drop down as well and move towards the target. Okay, looking good, looking good. Probably come up to 40 meters just so we avoid uh, mishaps which are very rare with me and aircraft okay we are going through all of this anti-air my goodness it's so much okay and bombs away oh my gosh I missed did I oh just one of them dropped his bombs unfortunately okay get out of here Okay, form up. Get in a line ahead formation. You three, we're turning back around. We're gonna go get them. I need to make sure all are selected. Vic formation, form up. Okay, these other hurricanes are closing in as well. All right, come right. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting to manage. Okay. Increase altitude a bit. Bombs away. Make sure you drop your bomb too. Bombs away. There we go. Two bomb hits. All right. Turn this one around. I don't know why they're not all dropping at one time now. All right. This one. Drop your bombs. You missed. All right. And one was shot down. Okay. Get the heck out of here. Any of you have bombs? Negative. These two have bombs. 
All right. That's because I'm not clicking the all drop bomb button. I am clicking the bomb button. I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> I was goofing that up. Okay, this one has a pretty heavy list. We're going to go for her. Can't believe I was pressing the wrong button like a goob. Okay, close in. Okay, line of breast formation, form up. Form up. Get nice and close together. Is this just sure? What's up with the AI and ramming today? Is this just sure going to ram her? Regardless. Okay, close in. Get ready. All drop. Okay, lost one. Bombs away. Missed. Gosh dang it. I am off my game today. All right, get out of here. We lost two hurricanes. That is a shame. Okay, this one, get out of here as well. We'll see if that causes them to turn around. This cruiser doesn't look good. Taking on lots of water. We'll hit them with more aircraft here. Great news, the Japanese have turned around and are heading away. A formation of M139s have found them, however, and we are going to drop down and try to hit that light cruiser once again. Let's drop down to the deck, increase airspeed, level out here, fly away so we're not taking so much anti-air. Each M139 here is carrying two 1,000 pound high explosive bombs. Form up into a diamond formation, please. And let's check the report. What's the damage on this guy? Okay, minor damage. It looks like they were able to repair their ship for the most part, which is quite a shame, but it's just the way it is sometimes. Yeah, it looks pretty okay. Unfazed by the previous bomb hits. Well, hopefully a couple of 1,000 pound high explosive bombs will do some significant damage. Let's make sure everyone is selected here. And we are going to be sure to press the all drop button. Make sure all of our aircraft drop their bombs. One of our M139s is already smoking by the looks of things. Keep dropping down. I want you nice and low. Down to 60 meters. My manual bobbing today has been pretty mediocre, if we're being honest. Not my best showing, unfortunately. Okay. Let's drop down a little bit more. Down to 40 meters. That should clear us. Anti-aircraft is opening up. Gosh, it's so much anti-air. We're looking good, though. We're lined up nicely. Aim for the Pakoda. Come on. Drop down 30 meters. Get ready. Bombs away. Okay, that first one's definitely going to miss. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Four direct hits. Get the heck out of here. Increase altitude. Okay, that thing is done for. Fantastic. We lost one aircraft, but that was good. Oh my goodness, this thing <laughs> got absolutely annihilated. All right, get out of here, boys. That was beautiful. Well, unfortunately, it looks like the Japanese damage control teams are doing their job and this ship is remaining afloat. They are getting all the fires under control. That is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all on the next one.